On this episode, we're scouting out first-time homes in the second city, Chicago. Wow. Super cool. This is a Chicago loft. I'm Realtor Olin Ergel, a member of the National Association of Realtors. Look at this building. I'm working to transform David and Francis from renters into homeowners. Remember we talked about 80-10-10. This might be in the 10% that you could either live with for now or change over time. But when an 11th hour email from the lender threatens to undo a done deal, so we're stressed out of our minds. I go into overdrive to make sure my clients come out on top. Have a deal. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to try to get you in because this one is gonna move fast. It is priced very well. My name is Olin Ergel. I've lived in Chicago for almost 19 years and have been selling real estate for 13 of those years. I'm a realtor, a member of the National Association of Realtors. And what I like most is the level of professionalism that you were held to, as well as the code of ethics. The, the view from the roof deck was awesome. I bet you weren't expecting that in this neighborhood. Chicago is a massive city that is made up of 77 different neighborhoods. And in each of those neighborhoods, are unique little pockets of mini neighborhoods, and it's really beautiful to be able to explore each of them. I met my first time buyers, David and Francis, a number of years ago. We just instantly became friends. David and I ended up playing together on the same softball team. I'm Francis, I'm a speech language pathologist. And I'm David, and I'm a strategic account director for a tech company. And, and we're, we're first time buyers. buyers. We're looking to buy a place now because we've been recently married. I lived in a basement apartment for quite a while, saving every penny I could while he was in grad school. And then we ended up moving into a smaller apartment and sacrificing the square footage there. We would take 10% of both of our paychecks and put into a joint account. They really truly listened to my suggestions to make sacrifices in order to save money because they have now saved over $100,000 to use for down payment or closing costs. They're actually in a very good position to purchase. Olin recommended a few different lenders. We ended up getting pre-approved for $700,000. Budget-wise, we're looking around 640, 650. I know that David is willing to look for a fixer-upper, whereas Francis really wants it to be more move-in ready. So one of the tactics that I use when speaking with first-time buyers is if you're looking for a property today and it fits 80% of what you're looking for, 10% is something you can change over time, and 10% you can live with, then that is a 100% perfect property. This is Wrigleyville, it's a nice building, but it's, I mean, it's, it's right next to the I know, field. But we never really considered this area. Their current rental is in Lincoln Park, but I did want to educate them on being a bit more north so they could get more bang for their buck. And I just found out about a new listing in Wrigleyville. It just came on the market and we're gonna be the first ones in. Hey guys. Hey all. Good are morning. You? How are y'all? Good, Good morning. How are you? Good. We're in the heart of Wrigley. Yep. Yeah. And I know that this isn't immediately what you were looking for, but it is part of Lakeview. Okay. Tons of things to walk to within the neighborhood. Bars and restaurants all over. I'm so excited to show you this place. Yeah. Look at this building. This is a three-bedroom, three-bath duplex, and it's under your budget at 635. Built in 1896. Oh, wow. So there's yeah. going to be a lot of projects to do then. It's got a little bit of the old that David is interested in, but also the modernizations that Francis is looking for. We haven't seen any pictures yet, so. I know. That's because it just came on the market today. But I've seen a unit in the building, and I know that it's going to be right up your alley. OK. You ready to see it? Let's go. Come on in. All right. Being the first person to see a property in this market is huge. If we like it, we're able to jump faster and ultimately be successful. All right, guys, come on in. Olin. It's huge. Yeah, the space is gigantic. Wow. Hardwood floors are all throughout. It's really nice. And look at the fireplace, too. That's beautiful. So imagine having some gatherings and parties here with the dining room and the living room together. Doesn't feel like an apartment at all. It's so quiet. Based on how loud it was out in the street. Yeah, it's just so much quieter. One second. So you can't hear anything. Yeah. Want to keep going? Yeah, sure. Yeah, OK, right this way. Okay. Here is one of the bedrooms. Tons of closet space. Yeah. And it's actually the third bedroom, so you oh. could use it as office or workout space. I need a space for that. Now, with each bedroom comes a bathroom, so come on oh, with me. Wonderful. The tile. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The tile is a bit dated. However, that is one of the projects that you guys can work true. on. Remember, okay. this is way, way yeah. under our budget. OK, moving on? Yes, yeah, yeah, All right. Welcome to the kitchen. Come on in. This is huge. This is gigantic. Although the 90s called and they want their kitchen back. <laughs> oh, so true. Another one of those projects that you guys can take on. Remember we talked about 80-10-10. Right. This might be in the 10% that you can either live with for now yeah. or change over time. Want to head downstairs? Let's do it, yeah. Okay. 
Look at this expansive space here wow. in the basement. Oh, this is as big as our entire apartment. I, I think this actual square footage is That's your apartment. Close. Let's head down the hallway. Okay, okay. perfect. Wow, this just keeps going. Yeah. This is your primary bathroom. Wow. Oh. Look at this tub. Oh, I know. Gosh. Look, I think I might actually fit in a tub for we once. We can both fit. You oh, might not need to be in there, because Francis, take a look right over here. Is this a sauna? It's a sauna. <laughs> Who do we think we are? You can fit like six people in here. This is so big. I, I think we could fit the whole softball team in here. That'd be nice. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, let me show you the primary bedroom. Oh, wow. This is a big primary. Yeah, but I don't want to live in a basement again, especially if this is where the primary is. I hear you. I have an idea as, for that as well. Imagine if you took this wall out and opened it up so that there's the bathroom and the closet, and it makes it more of like an oasis down here for the two of you. It would be a big project, but I think it would be worth it. I have one more thing to show you, the outdoor space. All right, okay. here's the deck. Wow. There's the deck, there's the train. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so is this like our own private deck or? I wish I could say yes, but this is shared for the whole building. And it looks like everybody's kind of adopted a little area to sit and there's a number of grills to share, so it's more communal. Sure. Yes, the train just went by, but you'll only hear it when you're outside yeah. because as we noted inside, you really didn't hear a lot of it at all. Okay, so that concludes the tour. What do you think about this space? Very much like city life. Very, is, very city. It can be really fun. Yeah, it can yeah. be fun. Yeah. Could also be annoying. I really like it. I think it fits the 80-10-10 rule. Okay. Uh, it's a basement. I'm not really sold on that part. I mean, there's a lot of work to be done on it, but three bedrooms, three full baths. It's true, it's a lot. Yeah, it's great yeah. for entertaining, but I'm not just sold yet. The train is, once again, still right there. <laughs> you had two in the last 30 seconds. I completely hear you. I just want to note that in this market, time is of the essence. If you're interested, we don't want to wait too long, okay. but I do have one more place that I'll show you. Well, the search continues. Okay. When I first moved to Chicago, the very first neighborhood I lived in was Boys Town, so it always has a very special place in my heart. It's just so diverse and such a vibrant piece of Chicago's neighborhood community. All right, guys, so here we are back in Boys Town, which oh, yeah. I think you're very familiar with. Boys Town in Chicago is the LGBTQ center. Yeah. The parade goes right down Halstead, so right. you're kind of right here on top of all of it. It's somewhere that's really familiar to us close to all of our favorite restaurants and bars. Oh, and nailed it on the head. I'm super excited to show you this building. Originally, it was a warehouse back in 1903, and now it's been turned into lofts. OK. And this is a two-bedroom, two-bath, okay. three-story loft, and it's listed at 670 Oh, that's more than the one we just saw. The price point is a little steep for us. It's on the higher end of our budget. Yeah, especially for only two-bed, two-bath, where the Wrigleyville condo was cheaper for an extra bed, extra bath. But you're also paying for location, okay. and you have okay. three stories, you have attached parking, there's yeah. a rooftop deck. OK, cool. Okay. So there are a lot of really, really good pieces to yeah. it that I'm excited for you to see. Let's yeah, sure. All right, let's Go. Great. Come on in. Oh, wow. OK. Nice timber, but it goes up instead of out. So this is the first floor of the three. Remember, oh, this is this right. town. Yeah. This is a little bit unconventional, but just go to the bathroom first. OK. OK. Oh, wow. Double vanity. All right, there's already a win. You even get the exposed timber, and you can see how the building has been constructed. Isn't yeah. that cool? Yeah, sure. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. I had a little surprise for you behind this door. Sauna. Not a sauna. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you would wish. think it'd be a closet, but it's not. Okay. This is actually just the landing that leads to the primary bedroom. Cool. Right. Okay, so it's connected. So you still get the beautiful timber in here and then the exposed brick, the exposed mm -hmm. ductwork, the glass blocks. It's just very, very loft yeah. feeling and industrial. Upstairs is entertaining. Come on in. Wow. Wow. Super cool. Yeah. yeah, this is a Chicago loft, right? Yeah. Wow. There's tons of character here. I love those windows. So look how the design was with the four transom windows uh -huh. above that bring light in. But then this is actually a little bit more muted so that yeah. you're not staring at your neighbors. Yeah. Right, for sure. And the kitchen's right there, too. That's completely finished. It's gorgeous. The kitchen is beautiful. These countertops, so updated, not like the other one. The quartz countertops, the Italian cabinetry, the all stainless steel appliances. They've completely redone this kitchen. I feel like the other one had a little more storage in it, but it's not as new as this. It is everything I wanted in the kitchen. It's very move-in ready, so I don't really have a project I can work on, but for this price point, that might not be a bad thing. Want to take a look upstairs? I'd love to. OK, fantastic. 
So it functions as a top floor. It could be a den. It could be a bedroom. It's big windows, lots of light. Now they're on the top floor here. Not a good amount of space here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. And save the best for last. Let's take a look out on the deck. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Great deck. Yeah. Private deck, too. That's an upgrade over the Rayleigh condo. Yeah. This is the space for this condo. You get the view, too? Yeah, great yeah. view. Because we are fourth floor, so you get a great view. It's private. There's great views. Best of all, there's no train. OK, we've seen the whole house. What do you guys think? Are you leaning one way or the other? This one is really great. The new kitchen, kind of fully updated, moving ready, the big open space for entertaining, and the neighborhood. This one doesn't have the train. <laughs> there is no train, <laughs> but you get this view. Yeah. A nice yeah. view. Yeah. yeah. With the Wrigleyville condo, a little more space, we get an extra bedroom and an extra bathroom. And could you remind me, though, what the price difference is between the two? So this one's listed at $670, and the Wrigleyville condo is listed at $635. So there is a bit of a price difference, but it's also based on location. The other one's, what, three bed, three bath? Three bed, three bath. You know, but the style of this one's just more modern. I, I know. There's just pros and cons for both. Yeah. I do feel like one of them is leaning towards this property and one is leaning towards the Wrigleyville condo. So it's a toss up. I don't want you to feel rushed, but yeah. time is of the essence if we want to make an offer. If we don't want to get into a bidding war, they're really going to have to make a decision today. We get a little more yeah. for less than. Yeah. yeah. But I do you think I, we do? I mean, I'm pretty confident with what I want. I think I know what I want to. Based yeah. off what it costs and the space that we can get, we're ready for an offer, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Let's put an offer on the Wrigley Little Condo. Yeah. Great. Yeah. I cannot tell you how happy I am for you both. Awesome. All right, let's talk price. If we come in at 629, is that too low? Yeah. I don't necessarily think it's too low, but maybe we can sweeten the deal with maybe pumping up the earnest money to a bit more. All the things we should make our offer more attractive to the seller. So he's advised increasing the amount of earnest money we're putting in at the start. It makes us serious buyers. I think we go for it. Yeah, yeah. let's yeah. Do it. All right, so 629 on the Wrigleyville condo. Yeah. On Wrigleyville. All right, I'm so excited for yeah, you guys. Me too. It's awesome. All right, okay. let's do it. The boys are coming in with an offer of 629000 with 2% initial earnest money and a total of 15% down payment. And I think this is a very strong offer. We had a really narrow idea of where we wanted to be in the city, but Olin really opened our eyes into the different possibilities. And we can really see ourselves planting roots in Wrigleyville now. We have a good pitcher. Probably put him at second. So, Olin, who plays short next week? Well, I said that I would unless Matt wants to jump in. Do you think he'd be good at short? Yeah, we could, but Matt, should probably pitch for us. Hello, this is Olin. Oh, hi. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to the clients and get back with you ASAP. I appreciate the call. Thanks. Bye. Good news. OK. Uh, They've countered at 632. OK. But they, but they want us to buy it as is. What does that mean? Yeah. OK, so as is basically means that the seller doesn't want to make any repairs after inspection. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. If something big happens, then we don't know how to fix it. If any big ticket items come back, like plumbing or electrical or windows, we can still ask the seller to take care of some of those. As is really just digs down to the idea of not wanting to be nickel and dimed throughout the inspection process. We still definitely want to have an inspection to ensure that everything is clean on the property. But I do always suggest, whenever we make as-is exceptions, mm -hmm. that we ask for a home warranty. So that's something we can oh. do as well. Okay. well. What's the home warranty, though? If the fridge dies, you can use the home warranty instead of having to buy a new refrigerator. Okay. Yeah. It's just extra protection, basically. Yeah. That would give us a little bit better peace of mind. Yeah. So do you think we should go for it? Well, they came down from the list price, and I think it's very solid, but it's up to you guys. It might be the best move. OK, yeah. I said, okay. let's do it. I'm going to call back. Awesome. OK, give me just a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homeowner's warranty for the first year mm -hmm. uh, makes me feel a lot better about this as-is offer. Thank you so much. All right, bye-bye. And we have a deal. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Super exciting. Are we going to continue playing, or are we going to go celebrate? Let's celebrate. Let's go celebrate. Let's go celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When we get the inspection report back, it was in good condition. And so the boys are just waiting to get the good news of closing being scheduled. What's wrong? You're not going to believe the email we just got. What do you mean? We owe thousands more a month. We have to put a 20% down payment down. I, I don't, really don't understand. It's from the lender? Yeah, from the lender. You got to call Olin. We, we got to call Olin. I yeah. just don't get it. Go for it. Hey, David, what's up? How are you? Hey, I wish I was better. We just got a really confusing email, and we're stressed out of our minds. Something about, like, we haven't been working at our job for long enough, and I, I thought that was all to be approved already. 
Yeah, that doesn't sound right. We're in the middle of packing. We're supposed to be out in a week, and this could be a, a horrible mess. Don't freak out. I've seen things like this before that happen in the 11th hour. The email they received from the lender states that now they're actually going to have to put down 5% more uh, plus an additional fee to satisfy some of the conditions of the loan. And they immediately start freaking out. Man, deal? No idea. The reason the lender was saying that they needed to put down 5% more was because of a discrepancy in how long Francis was actually at his job. He's been there for over three years, but it was just the name of the company that had changed. So it's actually a simple solution. HR uh, got me a confirmation letter. Everything was solved. We did it. I, I can't believe we own this house. Welcome to our patio. I, I bet you've been enjoying it. Yeah, we had to have you back as the first guest. Just say thank you for you know, putting in the effort to show us all these places. And we really trusted you with this, and it paid off. This has been a really amazing journey to walk with the boys through this entire process. It really was the right move for us in the end. You know, working with clients is always so special. But when it's your friends and you get to see them buy a beautiful property and enjoy it like this. I'm just so happy for you, so can I get a go team? <laughs> How about maybe just a cheers this time? <laughs> okay, cheers. 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 Congrats, guys. You're welcome.